Hey guys, welcome back to the 31 Days of Halloween where I post a new tutorial every day in October. For today's look, I wanted to do this really creepy ghoul. As you can see, I've already drawn circles around my eyes. My camera decided to not record it, so not much to that. Just kind of outlined where I wanted to put my eye sockets. Now I'm just filling in my face and my neck with this white body paint from Graftobian. So I'm painting my neck right now, but to be honest, I end up filling it in with black. So if you guys want to skip this step, you can. If you want to keep it white, you can do that too. But I just want to let you know that I did fill it in black later on. Now I'm just painting over my ears. If you're gonna have your hair back for this, I would definitely recommend painting your ears or any other visible skin colored places on your body. But I'm gonna wear a wig so it doesn't really matter. Now I'm just filling in my eye sockets with this black body paint from Graftobian. Now I'm going in my waterline with my Essence 2-in-1 Coal Liner to just make sure everything looks extremely blacked out. And now I'm going to start and do these little flicks. I don't know what else to call them. But I am using my Tarte Clay Pot Gel Liner for this and a small detail brush. And basically what I'm doing is leaving a little bit of space for the first go around and then filling those gaps in on the second and the third go arounds. It's kind of just all to your preference. I wanted it to look very scary, kind of hairy, that rhymes, but you see what I mean. And to be honest guys, this look is pretty easy and I feel like it's kind of like quote impressive looking because it looks like you, you know, spent a whole lot of time on it. but. Really, it doesn't take very long and it's pretty simple. So I would definitely think this would be a fun Halloween makeup to wear. Now I'm just filling in my eye sockets with black eyeshadow and then going over my lips with a red body paint from, you guessed it, Graftobian. And if you are going to be wearing this out, I definitely recommend putting on like a liquid lipstick of some kind because the body paint is water activated and will come off a lot quicker than like lipstick or something. Now I'm just taking that gel liner from Tarte and creating these like teeth. I I'm not sure what I would call them. They're just kind of like spikes. Let's call them spikes. They're just coming out of my mouth. Kind of looks like a spider spider spikes. I'm gonna shut up now. Then I'm just filling in the inside part of my mouth black so that everything looks put together. And here I'm just starting to shade with a gray eyeshadow around my temples Now I'm just mapping out where I want my cheeks to go. I wanted them to look really hollowed out and very kind of angular. So I'm just using this fluffy eyeshadow brush and that gray eyeshadow and going in and carving those out. Then taking a darker gray eyeshadow and going over the top at the very, very, very top of the line of my cheekbone just to really define it and then blending downwards.
and just basically repeat the process until you feel that it is dark enough or defined enough for you. Now I'm just going underneath my jaw to just carve that out a little bit. I find that when you're doing kind of a skull look, it helps to kind of carve out parts of your face that you typically wouldn't because that's what skulls look like. Now I'm just going in with a black eyeshadow and going over just the very top of the cheek carvings. Cheek carvings? Okay. Just to give it some real definition, make it look like it's kind of popping out, and then blending just slightly downwards, not anything too crazy. You don't want to fill the whole cheek in with black. Just a little bit of blending will go a long way. Now I'm taking that black eyeshadow and going on tops of my forehead to really darken things up and kind of like shape out that skull if that makes any sense probably doesn't I also decided to add these little dimples in the skull it was actually a happy accident and uh, it ended up just being there and I went with it so dimples now I'm sketching out my neck bones and basically what I'm doing is just drawing two lines and then drawing tiny little triangles. I saw this on YouTube from a girl and this is just a really, really simple way to create those vertebrae. So basically just drawing two little triangles on either side and as you can see it's kind of just forming the vertebrae bones. And I shaded it, and I really actually did like the way that I shaded it, but I ended up painting all of it black, and you know, you can't go back from there, so um, if you like the way that I shaded this, you can totally go for that, but I do end up painting the rest of it black. I'm just shading on each of the vertebrae, um, just to give it a little bit more dimension. And say goodbye to all the shading because here I am painting all of it black and like I said in the beginning it is a little bit hard to paint over white with black because it turns you guessed it gray and that's not what color I wanted it to be so this was kind of a struggle so before trying this I would definitely decide whether or not you want to do shading or just kind of black out your whole top part of your shoulders and neck After blacking all of that out, I'm going over it with a black eyeshadow to really get it to be opaque and dark as possible. And that's it guys. Thank you so so much for watching and please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can see the rest of the 31 days of Halloween. And so of course we can be friends. I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm with my head, 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 my head,